show is about Fat Gadget, um, which was the name of the band for Frank, of Frank Tovey. And he basically was an artist from the early 80s um, who died in 2002. And the reason this show came about was because I was really shocked to hear um, that Frank Tovey died. Um, particularly because of what he stood for. He was, a, he was an amazing artist. And I was really sad that what he did um, would disappear in the cracks of history. And basically, of course, it was also part of my youth. And as you get older, you mourn your youth. Um, but more than that, I felt like there's a whole bunch of younger people out there and young artists that are out there that don't know who this person is. And that's a shame because a lot of what is going on in the art world right now has its roots in a lot of things that Frank Dovey touched upon. So um, I thought an exhibition to honor the legacy of Frank Dovey um, was a good idea and was something that had to be done. I did not want to do it without the complete approval and collaboration of, the, of Frank Dovey's family and Mute, um, the record label that um, had Frank Dovey. Um, and that's basically how it came about. Um, I, we worked together with Mute and the family. We asked artists that knew of Fat Gadget and we asked a whole bunch of artists that did not know of Fat Gadget. These people were shown a documentary that Morgan Dovey Frost, daughter of Frank Dovey, made so that they could familiarize themselves and then they went on their own they started Googling and you know, looking for it. They were really we had, it was an amazing experience, let's put it that way. It was really great to see the reaction of people to what Frank used to do. We have uh, Terence Coe, we have Erica Keck, Olaf Bruning, David Flynn, uh, Casey Spooner, Desi Santiago, uh, Liz Wendelbo, um, Kelsey Henderson, Mickey Pellerano, Robert Noki, um, Conrad Ventur, uh, looking around, so I don't forget anyone, Grant Worth, Thomas Dozol, um, Gaius Tokchev, I can never pronounce the name properly, I'm sorry, um, Stephanie Snyder, Una Zeman, Martinka Warzniak, uh, Nick Cash, who used to be the drummer of Fat Gadget, his son Nathan Davison Cash, uh, Eric Hansen, Slava Mogutin, I think I've done them all now, and Alex Rose. Um, oh, I forgot Lovett Codagnone, okay. um, because they have a specific space in the front at the opening of the gallery where they have their uh, art piece, because we made sure they had their, particularly they had their own spot. Uh, and Matt Sims, who is an American musician, but who basically lives in Berlin now and who made a piece which consists of, out of all of his body hair that he made into a jello. And uh, so that's also at the front. Um, what I think is exciting about the show is that it literally brings old people and young people together as well as artists that knew about uh, Fat Gadget and that did not know about him. So that it's not you know, just a show consisting of fans of Fat Gadget, you know, people that are more my age. Um, the whole intent was to bring it out to the younger generation and to get them familiarized with what's being done. This is the visual part of the exhibition. We have a music part with Zeno and Oaklander and Ike Yard. And we have a film program at the Ontology Film Center with, um, where the documentary of Morgan Toby Frost is shown. And um, Tom Kalen did a, a video project, as well as Brian Kenny. So we have a film program, a music program, and an exhibition program. So it took a long time, because you have to 
combine all these things, get spaces to do all that within a short period of time. <laughs>